It is Wednesday, July 24th. I'm Johnny Archer and here are six things you need to know today. Two people are dead and several others are in the hospital after a shooting in Broward County. Police say it began as an argument at an auto shop in Pembroke Park. Investigators are trying to figure out who fired the shots. A woman is lobbying the Miami Police Department to change a policy following a run-in with a group of ATV and dirt bike riders in Brickell. She says one of the riders hit her car while performing a stunt. A policy by Miami PD prohibits them from chasing after people accused of non-felony offenses because it puts other lives at risk. Protests continue in Puerto Rico calling for Governor Ricardo Rosselló to resign. The governor's chief of staff has handed in his resignation and a judge there has ordered all phones involved in the Chatgate scandal to be handed over to investigators. Former special counsel Robert Mueller is testifying publicly on his report into Russian interference during the 2016 election. He's testifying before the House Judiciary Committee first before appearing in front of the House Intelligence Committee. Lobster mini season is underway and there are new strict guidelines to follow this year. There is a limit of 12 lobsters per person and only six lobsters in Biscayne National Park and Monroe County. For more on the rules, check out the NBC6 app. And this season, South Florida hit some record hot days with temperatures hitting 98 degrees twice. That heat was especially hard to handle for Hylia Gardens family who went weeks without no power. She called NBC6 Responds after she was accused of something she says she didn't do. Tap on the NBC6 app to see how we helped her get her power back on. And for more on these stories, including why wealthy New Yorkers are trading the Big Apple for the Magic City and moving to South Florida, check out the NBC6 app.